Hello. Exactly a week ago on the 18th of August, a 58-year-old man entered the realm of city politics after being elected the new Kamukunji Member of Parliament. Taking up the mantle of leadership in a constituency that had remained without a parliamentary representative ever since the seat felt vacant in January this year. It was a fiercely contested by-election that saw Yusuf Hassan dismissed on, among other grounds, being an outsider, unable to address the most pertinent issues in a constituency that continues to expand daily in all matters social, economical and even political. A week later, and Yusuf Hassan sits with his youngest daughter after a day-long engagement under his new title. His daughter, however, is engrossed in her favorite cartoon, allowing him time to not only break his day-long fast, but also take us back through the journey that has molded him into the man he is today. Starting here, 25 years ago, when he first joined the Voice of Kenya VOK. His dream then to be a journalist. And I became an accidental journalist because uh, uh, after that I um, started reading news on uh, radio and television because people were not turning up at weekends or during the end of, at the end of the month. And eventually I became a, a news reader. And then I was given my own program to, to present called Dunia Wikihi. It was a dream that saw a man yeah. who began his education in Garissa, traversing through western Kenya and even as far as Korea, proceed to the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, before going into exile a couple of years later, where he was involved in such lobby groups as that of the release of political prisoners, where he actively fought for the rights of exiled Kenyans. So I've always uh, uh, been a, a dissident, uh, rebellious person, and I never thought uh, in my um, imagination that uh, one day I'll be sitting in, in an institution like our parliament because I've always associated our parliament with being part of the problem in our country. Years later, and this father of five hopes to finally rule from the front, saying for him it is much more than just the title and the parks that come with it. I'm not seeking uh, a salary or self-enrichment in doing so. Therefore, my commitment to uh, work for real change uh, is, uh, is deep-rooted. Uh, it's a commitment that I've had over uh, all my formative years. And I'm here to make a difference. I'm coming uh, so that I can live a better Kamukunji. There are a lot of expectations by Kamukunji residents. So will you be able to deliver uh, and are they expecting too much from you too soon? My intention is not to sit in parliament uh, and earn a salary and count the days until the end of my time. I'll, I'll work very hard and very efficiently to ensure that uh, during my short tenure as a member of parliament, uh, the people of Kamkunji feel the difference and see the impact of, of my work. The Kamukunji MP, elect and former official of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees confesses to be a bookworm, evident from the variety of books he has as part of his collection, his vast knowledge as well as the opportunity that has over the years seen him travel across the world, the wealth of experience he promises to bring to Kamukunji residents in the hope of improving the region. <laughs> It is a big challenge that is ahead of you. Are you ready for the challenge? Absolutely. Evelyn Wamboy for Newsmakers. Yeah.